fetching media stream. And we're live. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Film Inspiration, inspiration for everyone through the lens of a filmmaker. My name is writer, director Red Rivera, and here we've got quite the treat for you. This is Alfonso Saúl Casados. All right, and Alfonso is nervous. Tell him to not be nervous because you know what? 18 years in television and I'm still nervous. That's true. That's true. 18? Wow. I think so. Yeah, 18. 18, that beats my 14. Wow, dude. So let me just make sure that we are live. Our audio is up right there. Yep, there we are. And uh, hopefully uh, somebody. So whoever jumps aboard first, um, let's go ahead and uh, drop a little content on you. Ta-da! Uh, without further ado, this is the El Burrito Cowboy fundraising uh, uh, Indiegogo campaign for the feature film. We'll talk more about that. So uh, take it away, Edgar. Hola, hello, and welcome to our Burrito Cowboy Show! Hola, hello, cowboys and cowgirls. I'm Alfonso Saúl Casados, the creator of El Burrito Cowboy Show. Burrito Cowboy! I am happy to say I'm from the great little border town of Douglas, Arizona and Abu Preta, Sonora. Hola, hello to my best friends! Our town has fallen on hard times and our dream here at El Burrito Cowboy Show is to make a movie called El Burrito Cowboy Saves Douglas, Arizona. It will be a fun family movie that profiles Douglas's beautiful G Avenue, the Gadsden Hotel and the Grand Theater. El Burrito Cowboy, Paquita Vaquita, and Amiga Sue go on a road trip. On this road trip, they arrive in a vacant Douglas, Arizona, and soon realize a spooky phantom is scaring the town into becoming a ghost town. The movie will take 10 days to shoot, but we need your help to make this movie shoot possible. Your donations will help us showcase Douglas, Arizona to the whole world via the internet. Plus, you will get great perks for your donations, like possibly being in the movie t-shirts and many more awesome perks once the movie is done we will give a portion of the movie sales back to douglas so we can beautify g avenue we need your help to make el burrito cowboy saves douglas arizona donate below where it says indiegogo cowboys and cowgirls hopefully see you in douglas soon until then thank you and gracias oh and i think i dropped out of that a little too early but hey no, that's good. everyone that's the El Burrito Cowboy Indiegogo uh, crowd, fuzz, crowd fundraising campaign, if I could talk correctly. And, oh, I forgot to get us water. So, Alfonso, talk to us a little bit about what is El Burrito Cowboy and what are you trying to do here with the funds? Because this is obviously for a feature film, correct? Yeah, it, what I'm doing is, I, what I did is I created El Burrito Cowboy show. And with the show, um, I'm going to use the episodes that we have to raise money to make a movie, a El Burrito Cowboy movie. Now, um, I'm from... Like the video said, I'm from Douglas, Arizona. I'm from Prieto, Sonora. Um, and and for the for, sorry to cut you off. For those of you who may not know, that's right where the corners of Arizona, New, New Mexico, Mexico, and Mexico, and Mexico meet. And yeah. so it's basically southeastern Arizona, very beautiful region. That's where Alfonso's from. Yeah. So if you ever get a chance, go down there. Um, so this movie that I want to do is I want to profile Douglas. I want to profile uh, G Avenue. Uh, very, very pretty buildings. Um, historic, right? Historic, very, very, uh, uh, just a very nice, beautiful little town. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, uh, it's it's kind of, um, it's kind of hard to get to, but it's worth it, you know. And I know there's not much there to do there right now, but yeah. I kind of want to change that. And and, and, and Douglas is, um, I think, about to start coming alive. There's a lot of people there that that see the potential. Yeah. And, and and I I think you know with this movie with the new mayor that Douglas has and the the vision that he has and and then people of Douglas like the new owners of the Gatson Hotel mm -hmm. you know um, all these people have this um this uh this look this uh this um, look into the future mm -hmm. for Douglas a lot of potential there. a lot a lot of potential a lot of potential so, so I want to make this movie to profile Douglas and it's a fun way and it's a kids movie but it's kind of, it's for everybody it's a fun it's a fun family movie and and so here you're raising the funds to make the kids movie that is ultimately going to help the real life Douglas Arizona now now talk to us a little bit about uh, burrito El burrito cowboy who's an actual character this would be up there with um, this is this is your uh, Mexican version of Sesame Street, Mr. Rogers, um, Bozo, Bozo the, the Clown, Clown, 
Right. And you know, I grew up watching a show out of Phoenix called the Wallace and Ladmo show. Yeah. And I've heard tons of it and yeah, I've not seen it. It's myself. really, really neat little show that I grew up watching and those those kind of shows haven't been around since like nineteen ninety. Like the kind of the era is kinda of, uh, is is was is gone since like the nineteen nineties. Yeah. So um I kind of wanted to bring it back. I, I, just, I, I loved it when I was a kid. I had fun when, it was the, when I was a kid with those shows, and I yeah. think kids today would have fun. And it's a slower show, but it's, um, it's educational. It's, uh, it's fun. It's, it, we want to teach you about eating and, and exercising and being kind to the planet, being kind to animals, yeah. all that good stuff. Which, which uh, is very reminiscent of, um, like for example, Sesame Street. You know where they, they teach you how to pick up your trash or this is how you brush your teeth and things like that that's just good for kids right right okay right. cool um arturo rubio how you doing elizabeth how are you oh thank you for for sharing the video uh we really really do appreciate it jennifer thank you for tuning in jose arturo armenta what's up brother how you doing thank you for jumping aboard okay. so um do you guys you guys so Again, this is Alfonso, creator of the El Burrito Cowboy Saves Douglas, Arizona movie. We're trying to raise funds for that movie and um, to help the real-life Douglas, Arizona town uh, beautification and whatnot. If you guys have... so, But again, this being Filmspiration, it's not just about us blabbing on and on. If you guys have questions, throw them our way because it's not... You know, we just don't want to hear ourselves talk. Um, we're... we're we're cameramen. We're TV cameramen. We're used to being on the other side of the camera, so ask us questions also because you know we're we're already like this up here. So don't don't be shy. If you have a question, throw it out there. Arturo, Arturo, thank you very much. You go too, brother. I haven't seen you in a long time. I hope you're doing well, Arturo. Um, so let me let me uh, explain what I'm trying to do with this movie. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I'm, I'm asking to raise about ten thousand dollars to make the movie. Mm -hmm. So once we have the money to be able to make the movie, we'll be able to shoot in Southern Arizona. So it's like a big, nice PR piece for Douglas. You know, hopefully all over the world, people will see it. Um, I, you know, I could. It's kind of like Field of Dreams. You know, they build a baseball park in the middle of a, a cornfield in Iowa. People from all the world come see it, a, a baseball field in a cornfield. Yeah, know? yeah. So it's kind of like that. You know, um, so we want to raise the money, make this movie. Once the movie's done and it's being sold, um, a portion of that money we want to put it into a pot and we want to donate it back to Douglas. Now, what we do with the money, uh, I don't have an exact plan. You know, like we, you, you, it could the, be like, the like by paint, by plants, oh, okay. by like like pots. So on, we can on the decorate, city side, right? Right. So we can decorate, in, you know, and donate this money back to Douglas, so G Avenue can get spruced up because the buildings are really, really pretty. It's a very nice street. Um, and like I said, the local people of Douglas are, are trying their hardest, and this is just my way of, of, of pitching in. Yeah. I, I've been in TV for 18, almost 19 years. This is all I know. Um, I, if you know me, you know I don't like to be in front of the camera. I don't like <laughs> talking in front of the camera. You're doing great. But I'm doing this because I want to make this movie, and I'm passionate about this movie, and I want to uh, make this movie and profile and show everybody uh, my hometown. I, I a place that I'm really proud of. Very, very quickly, let's go ahead and go back to the uh, to the promotional video. Kind of grab some eyeballs again, and this will kind of explain itself what uh, Burrito Cowboy Saves Douglas, Arizona is. So let's go ahead and jump back into that, and we'll come right back out for any questions, any comments you guys may have. Hola, and welcome to our Burrito Cowboy Show! Hola, hello, cowboys and cowgirls. I'm Alfonso Saúl Casaos, the creator of El Burrito Cowboy Show. Burrito Cowboys! I am happy to say I'm from the great little border town of Douglas, Arizona, and I will Preta Sonora. Hola, hello to my best friends! Our town has fallen on hard times, and our dream here at El Burrito Cowboy Show is to make a movie called El Burrito Cowboy Saves Douglas, Arizona. It will be a fun family movie that profiles Douglas's beautiful G Avenue, the Gadsden Hotel, and the Grand Theater. El Burrito Cowboy, Paquita Vaquita, and Amiga Sue go on a road trip. On this road trip, they arrive in a vacant Douglas, Arizona, and soon realize a spooky phantom is scaring the town into becoming a ghost town. The movie will take 10 days to shoot, but we need your help to make this movie shoot possible. Your donations will help us showcase Douglas, Arizona to the whole world via the internet plus you will get great perks for your donations like possibly being in the movie t-shirts and many more awesome perks once the movie is done 
we will give a portion of the movie sales back to Douglas so we can beautify G Avenue. We need your help to make El Burrito Cowboy Saves Douglas, Arizona. Donate below where it says Indiegogo. Cowboys and cowgirls, hopefully see you in Douglas soon. Until then, thank you and gracias. Hey, what's up everyone? So that was the promotional video for the Indiegogo campaign for El Burrito Cowboy Saves Douglas, Arizona. Now, Alfonso, um, for those of us who were around here in Tucson about a year and three months ago, yeah. um, you actually put together a pilot because this was actually, you know, being a kid's TV show was going to start off being an episodic TV show with like maybe a, an episode a week or not. So, so talk to us a little bit about that and then okay. how that evolved into this movie. Well, I, I created the show. I created, we shot four episodes in one day. And my vision is to be able to put out one episode uh, a week. Um, the reality is to make shows, you know, they take a lot of time, a lot of effort, and money. So I can only carry the show so far. So I have these four episodes. Uh, and my dream is to be able to make this a, a regular TV show. Yeah. Um, the reason I created this show, uh, long story short, is that um, I had a, uh, my father was a diabetic. And um, I, I, the only way for me to uh, figure out how to, you know, teach people about diabetes and eating well and, and taking care of yourself is television. That's the only thing I know. Mm -hmm. So uh, I did that for my father and um, and that, this is why I wanted to, to create the show. For, it was for my father and to, um, like I said, teach people so people don't go down that same route, you yeah. know, to, down that, not that route, that, that road, mm -hmm. you know, uh, that so many people Okay. What what was it that um, I've got a question for you? Oh look, Natalie, how are you? Also, Jaime hey. and uh, Piper, how you doing? Thank you for jumping aboard. Hey, guys. guys, questions, questions, questions. Natalie, you've got something. Uh, Alfonso, what can we do to help? Natalie asks. Uh, Natalie, here you go. You know, obviously, if you can make like a financial do donation to Indiegogo to uh, help me raise the ten thousand dollars, would be great. If you can't, if, if somebody can't donate, and mm -hmm. I understand if you can't, that's fine. But um, if you could. Get, help me get the word out. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, share it on your Facebook page, uh, things like that. Even even a, um, a comment or maybe just hitting share, what that does is it literally shares um, the concept with other people who maybe may not have known about it outside of a certain bubble or a certain group of people. Um, so even promotion through that way is, is much appreciated. Uh, yeah, you know, it, yeah. it's, it's, what is it called, like so soft money? Mm -hmm. Where you know, the, it's like sharing and getting it out there because, you know, uh, if, if you know me, everybody knows that's all I talk about is the Burrito Cowboy yeah. or my other movies. That's all I talk about. So, um, you know, if you if you can share it and help me get it out there to people that don't know about this, you know, um, like I said, this this kind of TV show hasn't been around since 1990, since like Wallace and Ladmo went off the air. And actually, right now in Phoenix, they're building a statue for Wallace and Ladmo. Really? You know, uh, for their contribution, what they you know, uh, contributed to people's lives and, and entertainment and, you know, they helped a lot of people. Um, um, let's say hello very quickly. Sorry to cut you off. Let's say hello. To, hi, Aaron. How are you doing? My cousin Lee, how are you? Both, hi, everybody. Uh, in Southern California. Yeah. Uh, I will share now, cousin Lee. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Especially you. You're a mom. And this is for the kiddos out there um, who would be interested in seeing a... Uh, uh, a cowboy character named Burrito Cowboy in here and he saves the town of Douglas, Arizona, which is in southeastern Arizona. Alfonso's from there. Also my wife, uh, Maribel. I love you, baby. Um, it's an amazing little town and so I think this is an amazing little project uh, to, to give back to the community through doing what you know how to do, which is making films and, you know, filming great messages. So let's go ahead and go back to the uh, content. This is the trailer, not the trailer. This is the promotional video yeah, for is, the, the campaign, right? This is the video that we I put together so um, everybody can share it and hopefully, you know, help me raise the money to make the movie. Uh, so it's on Indiegogo. It's kind of like Kickstarter. Yeah. You know, if you don't know what Indiegogo is, it's like it's a Kickstarter. It's a it's a crowdfunding. And and if you if you donate. To the project, you get perks. What What are you those know, perks? Like, like, like you know, you could do like a ten dollar uh, don uh, 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 donation, and you know, you'll get your you'll get a thank you on social media, 
and your name in the credits and it goes from 20 to 100 to 500 to a thousand to three thousand you know three thousand you know it's everything in between so you get a one night stay at the Gadsden Hotel two t-shirts two reusable you know bags so when you go grocery shopping don't use plastic bags uh, digital and download of the movie burrito cowboy stickers executive producer credit DVD of the movie and a speaking role in the movie so Ooh. um you know yeah. I, I know a lot of people can't afford three thousand dollars but yeah. you know there's three thousand there's a thousand there's ten dollars and if you can't afford anything just share it you know just help, even, help me help me get the word out you know just um you know just so, get it out there as much, as much as you can natalie natalie i see your question right here um how many shows are in pre-production so so natalie it's it's uh, a feature film right? yeah I have, I have the four episodes and everybody i've only released one so far and I have three more and then two PSAs. So in, over the next 30 days, I'm gonna release all of them and uh, they're gonna have a, you know, a, a, like a 15 second advertisement in the front, talk about El Burrito Cowboy, the movie. So the movie's called El Burrito Cowboy Saves Douglas, Arizona. And the movie is uh, a way to profile the town, to profile Douglas and, and uh, raise some money with the movie and then give a portion of that back to Douglas. Cool. Robert, what's up, brother? How you hey, doing? Hey, Robert. How you doing, man? Anita, how are you, Anita? Hope you're doing good. Okay, so let's go back into the video that Alfonso made for the fundraiser that you will find on the Indiegogo campaign uh, to raise funds. Uh, please take a look at that. The link is in the body of this video. It will be there once the video is over, and this is a regular video post on Facebook. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Here we go. Hola, hello, cowboys and cowgirls. I'm Alfonso Saúl Casados, the creator of El Burrito Cowboy Show. Burrito Cowboys! I am happy to say I'm from the great little border town of Douglas, Arizona, and I will Preto Sonora. Hola, hello to my best friends! Our town has fallen on hard times, and our dream here at El Burrito Cowboy Show is to make a movie called El Burrito Cowboy Saves Douglas, Arizona. It will be a fun family movie that profiles Douglas's beautiful G Avenue, the Gadsden Hotel, and the Grand Theater. El Burrito Cowboy, Paquita Vaquita, and Amiga Sue go on a road trip. On this road trip, they arrive in a vacant Douglas, Arizona, and soon realize a spooky phantom is scaring the town into becoming a ghost town. The movie will take 10 days to shoot, but we need your help to make this movie shoot possible. Your donations will help us showcase Douglas, Arizona to the whole world via the internet. Plus you will get great perks for your donations, like possibly being in the movie, t-shirts, and many more awesome perks. Once the movie is done, we will give a portion of the movie sales back to Douglas so we can beautify G Avenue. We need your help to make El Burrito Cowboy Saves Douglas, Arizona. Donate below where it says Indiegogo. Cowboys and cowgirls, hopefully see you in Douglas soon. Until then, thank you and gracias. Okay. Yeah. All right. Woo! All right, everyone. So that was. If you the, know me, uh -huh. if you know me, you know I don't like being in front of the camera. So for me to put a cowboy hat, a bandana yeah. on, you know, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm really passionate. You and did you know that I'm trying my hardest, and and I, I just I, I really want to make this movie. You did and great, I, man. And I've made two feature length movies in the past, mm -hmm. um, so I can start it and I can finish it. And and so for everyone that that may not know Alfonso or his background. Again, 18 years in TV, mostly for the ABC affiliate here in Tucson, Arizona. You're a photographer, also known as a cameraman, news cameraman, and an editor. You also direct, you also write, so you kind of do a little bit of everything. Obviously, the movie stuff is outside of work, but um, that's who you are. Oh, two-time Emmy Award winner, ladies and gentlemen, right here. Yeah, so with regards to shooting, editing, telling a story, this guy, uh, I might have one in the closet right there um with regards to telling a story you know this guy knows what he's doing with regards to shooting writing directing and and uh, editing so um hey let's say hello to esteban how you doing man uh natalie josh hey. said you did a good job thank you josh i appreciate it thank yeah you. thank you josh lee lee so uh the link is in the description uh and you can find that uh it'll be in the in the body in the description of the video once the video turns into a regular post once we're all done here but that's where you can find uh natalie nice video that's all this guy right Thank here you. mr paul renteria 
How you doing, man? Thanks for hey, checking it out, brother. Hey, Bro, so we got we got viewership in LA, um, I think New York, New York right now. You guys, thank you so much for tuning in because I mean, it's not, we, we can, and in this case, Alfonso can write, shoot, direct, and edit all the stuff he wants. And really that goes for any of us all filmmakers, but it means the world to us when you guys give us just a few minutes of your time to kind of check out, hey, who are these two crazy guys? What's that guy up to? What's he doing? This is Burrito Cowboy. And what's not this sign thing. about? Yeah, what, what's that sign about? What's Burrito Cowboy? So for those of you who are just joining us, this is Alfonso Salum Casas from Douglas, Arizona. Uh, has directed a good number of feature films already. And um, 18 years in TV and you are doing a child's feature film yeah. and you are trying to get the funds together to make the feature film and then from the feature film uh half will be for profit the other half will be for well there'll be a percentage it'll be i, I we haven't decided on the percentage yet of okay. what the movie is going to make like and what we're going to donate back to douglas it needs to be half i'm just kidding, <laughs> I'm just kidding. um so the the percentages alfonso will figure out but there will be a percentage of the money that goes to douglas arizona small town in southeastern Arizona that can really, it has so much potential. It's such a beautiful little town. Alfonso's from there. My wife Maribel is from there. And it could really just use a little help, a little pick me up. This is Alfonso's little way of doing his part to help out with that. So uh, Alexis, uh, we got a Douglas boy who just joined. Oh, okay, cool. Alexis, yeah, Alexis. This, is a, this is an effort on Alfonso's behalf um, and any help that I can give for Douglas, Arizona, and El Burrito Cowboy saves Douglas, Arizona. The kids will like the movie, by the way. He's got two little ones. Right. So they, you know, they could, they'll, they'll be able to benefit. Marissa Victoria, how are you? Uh, you guys, everyone, thank you so much for jumping aboard. So Alfonso, talk to us a little bit more about, um, you know, what, what you hope to do for those who maybe weren't aboard uh, a few minutes ago. Um, you're trying to gather funds to make the film, the children's film. El Burrito Cowboy saves Douglas, Arizona. Right. Okay. So, the the movie it's um it's our characters El Burrito Cowboy, Amiga Sue, and Paquita Wiquita go on a road trip and they go to Southern Arizona and they end up in Benson, Arizona, mm -hmm. and then they end up in in Tombstone and do all the really beautiful that areas Tombstone right. has to offer, and then they stop in Bisbee, and then they eventually get to Douglas, mm -hmm. and when they arrive at Douglas, it's it's vacant and there's a phantom and it's scaring everybody so it's just a fun spooky kids movie that i think anybody will enjoy reminds uh, me of scooby-doo it's kind of like <laughs> that yeah so we uh we've uh, had a have a friend uh danny hernandez who is uh designing the mask mm -hmm. designing the phantom oh, so, okay. but we're not going to show that yet yeah. uh, until a, a future day cool but uh, uh it's just going to be a fun little kids movie i remember 18 years ago a friend of mine told me I told him, I'm going to make movies. Mm -hmm. He's like, crazy, you're not going to make movies. And I said, no, no, I'm going to make some great movies. I'm going to make some action movies, this and that. And he tells me, man, you're going to make kids movies. <laughs> and I said, I'm not going to make kids movies. I, Look at me now. We're making a kids movie. And I'm like happy about it. I'm looking forward to it. And I, 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 um, I just really, really want to make this movie. And I just really want to shoot in Douglas and, and profile Douglas and show how beautiful it is. If you ever get a chance, go to Douglas, go to the Gadsden Hotel, go take pictures of the Grand Theater. The town is just a really, really nice town. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful old town. buildings. It, but you know, it's, it's, it's not that the people of Douglas don't care, they do care and they do love the town and they're very proud of the town. But what, what Douglas needs is we all need to get together mm -hmm. and, 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 and start painting and fixing up the old buildings and preserving. Kind of like you know how Bisbee's done, and like I said, there's a lot of people in Douglas right now that are Renovations. that see that 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 vision. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and uh, again, I, the the word that I brought up earlier was potential. Natalie, thank you so much for sharing this. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you, Natalie. Uh, Mr. Angie Lopez, hey, what's up, brother? How are you? Um, you guys, let's go back to uh, check out uh, the Alfonso's video that you can find on his GoFundMe campaign. No, no, Indiegogo. No, Indiegogo. 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 And, and that link is in the uh, the body of the description of the video. It'll be there when this turns into a regular video after we're done being live. Um, and the campaign's only going for 35 days. Yeah. So um, now I could, you know, I'm asking for $10,000 to make the movie, mm -hmm. you know, and that that includes all the shooting and editing and, and food. food food and yeah. gas in the car and, you know, uh, the hotel stays, you know, so 
I think for ten thousand dollars we we can get a lot done. Yeah. You know, we're gonna shoot from Tucson all the way to Benson to Tombstone to Bisbee and And and, and I think Douglas. one one thing one thing to uh to note you guys is that different websites function differently. I think uh Kickstarter is all or nothing, what they call all or nothing. That means let's say Alfonso had been on there, let's say if Alfonso was on there and he said the ten thousand. He's got to make that ten thousand, or he gets nothing. So that's what they kind of. And if it's changed, I apologize. I haven't really been on that site for a no, few years now. Same. But um, that's why Indiegogo is better because if you don't meet that level, it's not like you cannot still appreciate the people who who still gave of their heart and of their wallets to say, you know what, I want to see this project through. Let's say if it's less money, Indiegogo gets their percentage you get your chunk of money, you still move forward. What I'm getting at is that any and all financial help is appreciated and still helps, right? Right. Yeah, yeah or like I said, even if you can't help help out financially, you can help out in other ways by sharing, sharing or when we're filming. Yeah. You know, like if you know somebody in Tombstone that can maybe help us out or in Bisbee or, you know, that kind of stuff. Film sets always need help. Yeah. Film sets always, always need, need help. help. Independent, independent film sets always need help because. Uh, and the way the way that I wrote this, that we're writing the screenplay mm -hmm. is that um, it's it's there's not a lot a lot of characters, so it's uh, it's a movie that's very very doable. You know, like my last movie, there was a lot of characters, a lot of moving parts, a lot of locations, mm -hmm. a lot of sets, and um, we 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 pulled it off. You know, yeah. and it, I think it looks pretty good considering you know what we had. So let's go back to your video. Yeah. And uh, again, this is the video you'll find on Alfonso's Indiegogo campaign to raise funds for the kids feature film El Burrito Cowboy Saves Douglas, Arizona. My mouth is getting dry, which is why I'm like... Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Hello and welcome to our Burrito Cowboy Show! Hola, hello, cowboys and cowgirls. I'm Alfonso Saúl Casados, the creator of El Burrito Cowboy Show. Burrito Cowboy! I am happy to say I'm from the great little border town of Douglas, Arizona, and I will preta Sonora. Hola, hello to my best friends! Our town has fallen on hard times, and our dream here at El Burrito Cowboy Show is to make a movie called El Burrito Cowboy Saves Douglas, Arizona. It will be a fun family movie that profiles Douglas's beautiful G Avenue, the Gadsden Hotel, and the Grand Theater. El Burrito Cowboy, Paquita Vaquita, and Amiga Sue go on a road trip. On this road trip, they arrive in a vacant Douglas, Arizona, and soon realize a spooky phantom is scaring the town into becoming a ghost town. The movie will take 10 days to shoot, but we need your help to make this movie shoot possible. Your donations will help us showcase Douglas, Arizona to the whole world via the internet. Plus, you will get great perks for your donations, like possibly being in the movie t-shirts, and many more awesome perks. Once the movie is done, we will give a portion of the movie sales back to Douglas so we can beautify G Avenue. We need your help to make El Burrito Cowboy Saves Douglas, Arizona. Donate below where it says Indiegogo. Cowboys and cowgirls, hopefully see you in Douglas soon. Until then, thank you and gracias. Yeah. All thank right, you. you guys, that was a uh, good job, Alfonso. Thank you. Uh, so that was El Burrito Cowboy Saves Douglas, Arizona, the teaser trailer, and well, not the, the preview video that you'll find on Alfonso's Indiegogo page. So as you guys saw, El Burrito Cowboy, or the burrito, the little donkey, uh, you also have Paquita Vaquita, or Paquita, the little cow, but you also have another central character, right? Amiga Sue. Amiga Sue. Now talk to us about Amiga Sue. Who plays Amiga Sue? Amiga Sue is played by a, a super talented, super nice... Uh, uh, actress named uh, Rayu Oran. Um, very, very talented. She, we had a casting call, and uh, many, you know, wonderful, uh, uh, yeah. talented people showed up, um, and we were just blown away by her performance. So she, she'll be starring in the movie. And she's the, the host of the TV show. She's well, she's Amiga Sue, and we're really, really grateful to have her. Uh, let's say, let's Mid let's do some hellos. Sorry to cut you off. Let's do some hellos, Alfonso, David, David Valdez, David Eugene Valdez. How you doing, brother? Thanks for jumping hey, aboard, and uh, thank you very much. Always try to keep up the good work, whatever we can do with the tools and the resources and the interwebs that we have at our disposal. Maribel, how you doing, my love? Uh, also a Douglas girl. Yeah. Correct. You grew up with my wife, and uh, went to school with her, and yeah. And you and I were friends for years, and uh, before she and I ever even knew each other, we she and I meet by coincidence, and then it's like, oh, you guys know each other, Douglas. 
People <laughs> people say that uh, Africa is the center of uh, the origin of humanity and that people went to the other continents. Well, no, no, no. The center of the origin of humanity is called Douglas, Arizona. Because there's always some sort of connection. Yeah, anywhere you go in the world, you're going to bump into somebody from Douglas. You can be in China. Oh, you're from Douglas. Wow. And it wouldn't surprise me. And people would be proud to say they're from Douglas. Uh, Whitney, Whitney, hello. Whitney, hello. (laughs) (laughs) How you doing, Whitney? All right. So, um, yeah. So, let's see where we're at, a little time-wise. But do you guys have any questions? And thank you so much for jumping aboard and tuning in, everyone. Do you guys have any questions, comments, concerns? I hope you've not thrown tomatoes at your screens or at your phones at this point, at your home. Um, you guys have any questions? Shoot them our way, because we're here to uh, answer any questions you may have. Uh, so, uh, I think this is a really neat project, Alfonso, because a lot of people will usually ap- approach philanthropy, a lot of times documentarians, and use cinema to support a cause or a certain topic. You're causing your topic is your hometown of Douglas, Arizona. Right. And you're trying to raise funds for Douglas through what you know, filmmaking. So I think that's really cool. I think that's really, really neat. And um, just another uh, um, demonstration of ingenuity where, you know, you're, at least in, that's the way I see what you're doing. It's ingenious where you're taking your art and this is what you're doing with it. And so, but. Well, the thing is, it's like, um, well, like Robert Rodriguez. Yeah. taught us you know yeah as as filmmakers like you know use what you have yeah you know don't uh you can write to something you don't have if you can get it great but don't write yourself into a corner right yeah and it's like write to what you have write to what you know and and this is why i want to make this movie because like i know i know douglas and i know the potential and i i, I, yeah. I see i see where the town can be yeah and like i said the people of douglas can see it too but this is just my contribution this is just my way to contribute to uh, to help Douglas become what it can become. Yeah, yeah. and 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 really, really uh, um, tap its potential um, at the grassroots level. And you know, the, the same thing with Tucson, especially downtown Tucson. You had the whole renewal thing happen, and a lot more business came in. That's a whole other level of commerce and money, people coming in and whatnot. At a grassroots level, this is amazing, an amazing concept that you're applying. And guess what? You're doing it. Yeah, you know, you don't really need millions and millions of dollars to fix up an area. You know, just elbow grease and um, some trees. Get people together. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, you'd be surprised what, what we can all accomplish. And like I said, 18 years in television. All I know is television, and this is just my way of of showcasing Douglas. You know? Cool. So it's like a big giant. I don't know, commercial or PR. For Douglas, but in a fun, entertaining way. A good spotlight. Yeah, good spotlight. A good, good spotlight. David Marino, hey brother, how you doing, man? Hope you're doing good. I hope everything's good in your life. Uh, Maribel says Douglas, the best little border town in the Southwest. Yeah, that's about right. right. What do you call it? The Paris of border towns. That's right. <laughs> 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 and you can get the Paris of Water Towns at like a fraction of the price. You guys, if you, know? you if you can't, and if you're here in Southern Arizona, if you don't have money to visit Paris, that's okay. Just go to Douglas. Yeah. And it it does offer its history. Let me tell you that because it's in the same region where, you know, you got Tombstone, Bisbee. We're talking about the region that was in the stories of the Wild West. We're talking um, uh, Wyatt Earp, Buffalo Bill, uh, Cochise also. So we're talking about a very historically rich Geronimo. area, Geronimo, Geronimo also, um, you know, a lot of history, a lot of history, and, and Douglas is is uh, one of those gems there, and uh, like Alfonso said, it would appear that there's not a lot there, to some extent it's true, but if you can appreciate a small, beautiful, historic little town for what it is, you'll like Douglas. Go there if you can. Yeah, go, stop by at the Gadsden, um, go to the coffee shop, just, just go see the lobby alone. The, the Gadsden uh, the Gadsden Hotel lobby is, is one of the most amazing hotels I've ever been in, and I've been in New York. I've been to New York and San Francisco. Like this hotel looks like it's out of San Francisco. It's, it's beautiful. It is. It is. It's amazing. And there's a story that Pancho Villa rode his horse up the staircase. So and in the video, little, there's a little chip. yeah, in, on the seventh step, there's a chip where Pancho Villa's horse chipped the the, the the marble. So in the video, you'll see pictures of inside the Gadsden Hotel. Cool. Let's go to that video again. Uh, for everyone that's just joined us, 
This is the video for uh, the Alfonso's um, Indiegogo campaign to raise funds for El Burrito Cowboy Saves Douglas, Arizona, the, the children's feature film. Here we go. Hola, hello, cowboys and cowgirls. I'm Alfonso Saúl Casados, the creator of El Burrito Cowboy Show. El Burrito Cowboy! I am happy to say I'm from the great little border town of Douglas, Arizona, and I will preta sonora. Hola, hello to my best friends! Our town has fallen on hard times, and our dream here at El Burrito Cowboy Show is to make a movie called El Burrito Cowboy Saves Douglas, Arizona. It will be a fun family movie that profiles Douglas's beautiful G Avenue, the Gadsden Hotel, and the Grand Theater. El Burrito Cowboy, Paquita Vaquita, and Amiga Sue go on a road trip. On this road trip, they arrive in a vacant Douglas, Arizona, and soon realize a spooky phantom is scaring the town into becoming a ghost town. The movie will take 10 days to shoot, but we need your help to make this movie shoot possible. Your donations will help us showcase Douglas, Arizona to the whole world via the internet. Plus, you will get great perks for your donations, like possibly being in the movie, t-shirts, and many more awesome perks. Once the movie is done, we will give a portion of the movie sales back to Douglas so we can beautify G Avenue. We need your help to make El Burrito Cowboy Saves Douglas, Arizona. Donate below where it says Indiegogo. Cowboys and cowgirls, hopefully see you in Douglas soon. Until then, thank you and gracias. Yeah. All right. So that was uh, that was the video for El Burrito Cowboy Saves Douglas, Arizona. Uh, you guys, please donate to this campaign. You can find the link in the body of the description uh, right now, or also once this post turns into a regular post um, after we publish the video in just a little bit. Um, anything from ten dollars, hundred dollars. I'm pretty sure you won't mind. Three thousand, you won't mind. But you know what? No, no donation is too big or too small. And everything helps and let's say you gave ten dollars that's ten dollars more that yeah. the production didn't have before right you and know if you really think about it like that you know, for me to sit here and mm -hmm. ask for you guys to donate it's actually kind of difficult for me mm -hmm. you know I especially come on camera and ask you yeah. know but I really want to make this movie um, and I think it would really help Douglas out and it'll profile Douglas and it'll be good for the town and you know it'd be fun just a fun kids movie and, you know, and like, uh, what happens what happens is that like on the on the border a lot of negative news always yeah. comes out of the border unfortunately yeah. but Douglas is a safe nice town mm -hmm. and um, this is my way of something positive coming from Douglas I like you know, something that aspects. yeah it's something that shows Douglas in a good light yeah you know? um, so I so for me to sit here and ask for money it's that's difficult for me you know, but it's something I know. It's a necessity. It's something I have to do, and and I, I really want to make this movie, and that's why I'm sitting here and asking. That's why I put myself in a cowboy hat and a bandana, you know, <laughs> you to that. ask for it. You know, um, I don't want to be on television. I'm a behind the scenes guy. You know that. So uh, I'll do what it takes to to make this movie happen. And and one thing I want to uh, close out with is when in giving to an independent film. They'd be like, you know, for example, you go to the mall here in Tucson, of the many ones that we have. Many ones. Didn't sound right. I'm going on. I need some coffee. All right, of the many malls and the many movie theaters that there are in the malls, you see the big movies right there. You didn't have to give money to um, see the Fast and the Furious be produced, but you're seeing the final product. Here, uh, one of the things that um, giving kind of gives you is the opportunity to be able to say, that one movie that was done out of Douglas, Arizona, in Southeast Arizona, I had something to do with that, if at least a little bit. And that could be all yours. For, right. you know, 10 bucks, 20, 100, whatever you can give. Or just sharing. Just or just sharing by sharing. Facebook. Just you by know, sharing. A uh, little fast fact about Douglas is that um, uh, Johnny Depp film there, Jerry mm. Lewis, yep. Faye Dunaway, um, um, uh, Paul Newman. Yeah, you know these are some big, big stars that filmed in our in, in Douglas. In our hometown. Douglas already has a rich yeah. film so, yeah. history, and that's another thing. It's like filmmakers. Like if you guys want to uh, shoot a movie, and it's like a 1950s, 60s movie, Douglas, perfect place, mm -hmm. absolutely perfect place. The buildings are absolutely incredible. They make it 
amazing backdrops. Amazing. The whole area is just gorgeous, you know. And uh, it, it's it's people will treat you really, really, really nice. It's just a nice place. It's just a really pretty place. Cool. So once again, you guys, uh, this is the uh, push for the campaign funds for uh, the Indigo campaign for the production of the kids feature film El Burrito Cowboy Saves Douglas, Arizona. And I'm slowing down in my speech because I'm probably going to coffee again. But uh, we're going to close out with this. Alfonso, thank you so much thank for you. coming on Filmspiration, brother. And seriously, um, thank you. And appreciate I it. just want to say thank you to Edgar because he put this all together. Um, so I really appreciate you taking the time to help me out and my project out and, You're and welcome, uh, getting man. this off the ground. And, and so, uh, Edgar Ibarra, seriously, thank you very much. I'm happy to help. And that's kind of an example of, hey, if you may not be able to give a lot financially, you can give in other ways. Even if it's in the case of, of Alfonso on the campaign here, just sharing, letting people know, hey, there's this movie, check this out. Here's this video. So um, you guys, without further ado, believe it or not, there's a lot of work. You know, you had to set up a camera, this, set up oh, like, yeah. tagging and yeah, camera lights right. and everything. So I, I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank You're welcome, you man. I, I appreciate that. You appreciate it, brother. Um, all right, you guys. So we're going to close out with the video. But again, you can find this video on the actual campaign page in the link of the description of the body of this post. And of course, we're going to play it out for you one more time, then publish the video. Hit on, hit on that link and or click on that link and it'll take you right to the page. And you guys, thanks a lot. And thank and you everybody for joining. And, yes. And, and, and thank you in, in, in advance uh, for sharing. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Cool. And, and uh, just to close out my little film inspiration message as usual, uh, for those of you who have tuned, tuned in many times before, yes, we talk filmmaking and we're filmmakers and whatnot, but um, take that inspiration that we have to put into ourselves and our projects for whatever you do. Uh, any project, any crafts, any this and that, whatever your thing is outside of work, or maybe if it's your job, even better. Whatever it is that you do, your dream, whatever your dream is, just run out and do it. No excuses, no one's permission, just go and do it. Yep. You guys, this has been Alfonso San Casas. My name is Edgar Ibarra, and we're going to play the video for you one time. Thank you very much for joining. All right, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Thank Thanks you. a lot, you guys. Ta -da. And welcome to our Burrito Cabo Show. Hola, hello, cowboys and cowgirls. I'm Alfonso Saúl Casaos, the creator of El Burrito Cowboy Show. Burrito Cowboys! I am happy to say I'm from the great little border town of Douglas, Arizona, and I will Preta Sonora. Hola, hello to my best friends! Our town has fallen on hard times, and our dream here at El Burrito Cowboy Show is to make a movie called El Burrito Cowboy Saves Douglas, Arizona. It will be a fun family movie that profiles Douglas's beautiful G Avenue, the Gadsden Hotel, and the Grand Theater. El Burrito Cowboy, Paquita Vaquita, and Amiga Sue go on a road trip. On this road trip, they arrive in a vacant Douglas, Arizona, and soon realize a spooky phantom is scaring the town into becoming a ghost town. The movie will take 10 days to shoot, but we need your help to make this movie shoot possible. Your donations will help us showcase Douglas, Arizona to the whole world via the internet. Plus you will get great perks for your donations, like possibly being in the movie, t-shirts, and many more awesome perks. Once the movie is done, we will give a portion of the movie sales back to Douglas so we can beautify G Avenue. We need your help to make El Burrito Cowboy Saves Douglas, Arizona. Donate below where it says Indiegogo. Cowboys and cowgirls, hopefully see you in Douglas soon. Until then, thank you and gracias.